Stick tight end in motion. Petrus will throw. Petrus, time running out, looking to escape. He can. Dumped in the backfield. South Dakota State gets the pressure, and Reese Winkleman, the captain. Expect to win this game. You expect to win any game you play. Last year, three and out against Colorado State in their opener. Great stop against this Iowa team. Torrey Taylor, another bright spot of this Iowa team, and that is why this one's going to be down inside the 20, taken down. Isaiah Davis replacing a fourth-round NFL pick, but an early penalty, and this is likely going backwards. Can Gronowski get it off in time? And, yep, early movement. And this is after a fantastic defensive series, a tough offensive start. Third down and 12. Gronowski feels the pressure, and it is incomplete. He was looking for his favorite target, Jackson Yankee. And here's Hunter Dustman to send it deep to Arlen Bruce in his own end zone. And a box punt. This one is going to roll out of bounds right about the 22-yard line. Make it the 27-yard line, a 20-yard punt. And They've got a walk-on, Alec Wick in the game. Petrus looking deep towards the end zone, and he overthrows his target, Arlen Bruce, who is streaking behind the defense. Attempt to try to put the first points on the board. And that one is up, and it is good. Make it Aaron Blom, the uh, kicker. No good. And it is no good from Blom. Elkin, the holder, got pushed. Fans, Nico Regani and Keegan Johnson not playing today, along with that starting running back, Gavin Williams. And this one, a better punt from Dustin. It will sail over the head of Bruce and into the end zone. So a touchback. A fresh set of bodies. Laporta in motion. Petrus is going to throw. Throws it immediately too high for Laporta. And another incompletion. More pressure dialed up. Back. We continue this yo-yo back and forth in this first quarter. It is going to be Tyler Feldkamp to field it for the Jackrabbits. He lets it bounce and he lets it roll. It takes an eye the ball. Johnson, the running back, is dynamic. Ran for 429 yards last year. Gronowski's going to throw on second and nine. It was a little high, bobbled, and incomplete. Gronowski going to keep it himself? No, he's going to hand it off. And Isaiah Davis did not have anywhere to work. And who had that tough one in his own end zone to start the game. Dustman with a line drive kick this time, but it's short. And Bruce is going to have some room to work. Bruce runs into white jerseys, breaks a couple tackles, is still on his feet before he's finally dragged down. To be determined, I think, is the grade right now. Two running backs in, Potabon and Williams. Petrus will throw, and it's incomplete. He was looking to set up the screen to Williams, and another third down that Iowa cannot convert. Aaron Blom, who missed from 40 earlier, will try from 46, and this kick is... Zone 20. Gronowski to throw. He's got plenty of time. He's going to air it out. He's got a man wide open. And he overthrows Jaden Yonke. Gronowski swing it to the running back Johnson. He lost the football incomplete. Dustman has struggled deep in his own territory. Low snap. Dustman gets it off cleanly. And Bruce under it is hit immediately. Third down and three. That is in motion. Illegal formation. The flag comes down, and it's an incomplete pass. He threw it behind Laporta, who was open. Fourth down and three. And the punt unit out. We have seen Torrey Taylor show off so far. The All-American sends another one deep. And they are going to pin South Dakota State well inside their own five. Third down, a nightmare for South Dakota State. Gornowski evades the pressure. Stays on its feet. Gronowski finally tripped up. On the accepted penalties. Shut up. Great field position again for Iowa. And another low punt is going to bounce towards midfield. That's where Bruce fields it. He goes down just across midfield. Johnson, the freshman, will stay in at running back. He puts Laporte out. Oh, he lost the snap, and he's just going to have to dive on it. There's Logan Jones, the new starting center, wearing that 65, which... Petrus, plenty of time, fires a dart, it's complete, and then looked like it may have been dropped. They're going to call it a catch out of bounds, but it's... At the end... Yeah, they're going yeah, to look what, at this. Just want that ball out just a little quicker again for Spencer Petrus. That plays under further review. And they will send a deep. 
Jackson Yonke is back to receive it this time from Tory Taylor. And this is giving more of a line drive kick. Yonke will field it at the 10, make one man miss, make a second miss, one spin across the 15, and Yonke on the first drive. Second down and eight. Gronowski with plenty of time. Swing it. It goes right back to the running back Johnson, and he just dropped it. Gronowski, quick drop, quick throw, incomplete. What a play in the secondary by Terry Roberts to bat it down. Arlen Bruce is back to receive it. And Bruce will get under it, call for the fair catch, and make it at the 35-yard line. Petrus fires, bat it down at the line. Petrus. Petrus, time running out, intercepted! Petrus with a mistake, South Dakota State with a huge turnover! What a play! Petrus on the misfire. Gronowski lost, complete, no! Incomplete, it was George Lutz from Isaiah Davis. And Kick on the way, it is! for your first field goal. Looks like Petrus will kneel this one down and take it to the half. 70,000 other coaches are not excited about that. They're not going to pad their 58 total yards at halftime. To start this drive for South Dakota State, and now Mark Johnson, the running back in there, out wide. Oh, Bernowski bobbled the snap, had to pick it up, and that time closed immediately. Bruce, who's been pretty productive in the return game. Dustman just gets it off. Looks like he got hit after the fact, and the flag is down. Bruce does field the punt, but inside his own 20, gets across the 25. Petrus with time. Fires. Oh, nearly picked off. Dyson Gales got a look at it, and it was in and out of his arms. Fourth down coming, and so are the boos. And Field Camp is going to be back out there to receive it. Taylor sends it deep. And this one is returnable. Or is it? No, it's not. Special teams look in the park. Hines in motion. Handed off Davis. Pushing the pile, but won't pick up much. Maybe a gain of three to get a touchdown chance they had to Yonke. Who's going to drive it and score a touchdown? Dustman with this one, a, a pretty long kick, but low, so it's going to give Bruce an opportunity. Bruce, a spin move, still on his feet, stumbling down at the 40. If Petrus can adjust. That was a big completion. He'll look for another one here on first down. A little bit high, looking for Sam Laporta. In some tougher situations based on field position, has been quite impressive, and obviously the Iowa defense is as formidable of a unit as they come in college football. And how about this bounce? Here. South Dakota State backed up on their own one-yard line. And the backup quarterback, Rudy Voss, is in. They hand it off to Davis. Did he get out of the end zone? He did not. Jack Campbell, the All-American, makes the stop and puts points on the board for the Hawkeyes. Than they were at this point last year. That's a little movement right there. Play action pass. Oh, Petrus is dunked. The sack comes in a blink of an eye. Caleb Johnson, the freshman, the running back in there now on second and 22. Petrus back to pass. Petrus wide open. It is caught. Orlin Bruce, first down and more into Jackrabbit territory. Of this defense, but let's take another look here at Reader. And let's bring in Mike Pereira. To okay, so it happened. Play has confirmed. We have a targeting foul. First and foul defense, number 25. You see the crown of his helmet. The decision is Williams, the running back, on first down and 10, just outside the goal to go situation. Give it to Williams. And he keeps the legs churning. Ball's out. The ball came out. South Dakota State's got it. Oh, the defense continues. Rip City. Do you like chaos? Kornowski with time. He's going to run it. Still behind the line of scrimmage. Directing traffic. Lobs it. Incomplete. A busy day returning punts. Dustman gets another good one off. And Bruce will call for the fair catch. Wait a second. Are we in Flavortown? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that's not Guy Fieri. This is a trophy husband ready for a touchdown. <laughs> 
First down inside the 30, and Petrus's throw is too high for Arlen Bruce. You know, we in hockey. Here we go, Petrus under pressure, hit as he's thrown, and he underthrows Armin Bruce. Line down on the one yard line, and now Landon Wolf, the wide receiver, will be back to receive it. Wolf is going to call for the fair catch this time, and he's going to do it inside the 10. Gronowski, swing it, Davis, space, did he get there? He lost the football, he jumps on it. Are they going to give him the yardage? Let's see. Short. Penalties last year. Kornowski. And we've got a flag. Stretched. Side of things. We're trying to get the returner out there. It's Arlen Bruce. And we've got another flag. For South Dakota State. Dustman gets it away. But Bruce has plenty of space. And he calls for the fair catch at midfield. Center Logan Jones lining up that linebacker right over him. Petrus back to throw, feeling the pressure, rolling out, he escapes, can he get there? No! He slides down shy, he was yard line. <laughs> you probably can, and we'll see if Taylor can do it again. This one, another high kick. Wolf fakes it, and it does take that into South Dakota State bounce elsewhere, but that is his home, and they have done a great job. Gronowski hesitated. Gronowski feeling the pressure, spun down, Logan Lee! Bronowski lofts one, one on one coverage, and he overshoots his target, Canyon Bauer. All American last year, Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year in the defensive backfield as Dustman will send it back to Bruce. He's going to lay off it, let it roll past midfield, takes a South Dakota State bounce, and will finally settle just shy of the 45 yard line. Third down and nine, maybe a short 10. Petrus, big throw. Was dropped. He was looking for the walk on Alec Wick. So a three and out and another punt. Landon Wolf will return it from Tory Taylor, who again almost side kicks it out of bounds. Ozzie rules. Second and 11. Kornowski has to look out from behind. Did he get rid of it in time? We're going to take a look at a couple things here. Was his knee down before he got it out? And Gronowski is down again as Evans got to him from behind. And a safety second of the day for Iowa. Third down and a long five. Williams stays in there. They give it to Potterbaum instead. He's pushing the pile, but he's not going to get there. Just short of first down yardage. South Dakota State will not put a return man back. Taylor's just going to boot it towards the end zone. Oh, it got a South Dakota State bounce and a touchback. Gronowski going long. Oh, he had a man open. It was Hines behind the defense, and he couldn't haul it in. Can Cinderella keep the slipper on? Gronowski fires. Incomplete. No flag down. He was looking for Bauer. Tris. The Iowa defense, one of the best in the country last year, looks maybe even stronger this year. The special teams, the defense, two safeties, and an Iowa victory to start the season. One of the strangest 7-3 final scores you'll ever see. But the Hawkeyes get it done.